Standing by for the flight computer to go to internal power. Approaching the one minute mark. Vehicle is in auto idle. T minus one minute. BC and DC verify F9 and Dragon are in startup. F9 is in startup. Dragon is in startup. Falcon 9 and Dragon in startup mode, ready Stage for launch. Stage two tanks pressing for flight. The flight computer has control of the vehicle. The water deluge system beginning to operate 36 seconds away from launch. T minus 30. At T minus 3 seconds, the engine controller commands the engine ignition sequence to start. T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Five 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. The Falcon soars from its perch toward the International Space Station, carrying Dragon and new science for the one year crew. seconds into flight, all systems are go for the Falcon 9. Approaching uh, the one minute mark. One minute into flight. Standing by for the Falcon to go supersonic. One minute, ten seconds after liftoff. And the Falcon 9 is supersonic. has now passed through the maximum dynamic pressure, max Q. The next major milestone, first stage engine shutdown, about two minutes and 38 seconds into flight. And back is chilling in. T plus two minutes. Altitude 32 kilometers, speed 1 kilo kilometer per second, downrange distance 13.5 kilometers. 30 seconds from first stage engine cutoff. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Yes, Miko one. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Good luck, stage one. See the stages separating. And we have an MVAC ignition. Standing by the single Merlin vacuum engine. Igniting on the second minutes, stage. Altitude 86 kilometers, speed 1.9 kilometers per second, downrange distance 63 kilometers. Standing by in 15 seconds for the Dragon's protective nose cone to jettison.
Three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight of Falcon, carrying the Dragon spacecraft toward a rendezvous with the International Space Station on Friday morning. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. Stage one and stage two power buses are nominal. Solid telemetry lock on both stages. Acquisition signal at Bermuda Ground Station. We have stage one boost back startup. Four minutes, 40 seconds into flight. The SpaceX second stage engine continues to perform normally, taking the Falcon 9 and Dragon away from the limb of the Earth. T plus five minutes, altitude 165 kilometers, speed 2.56 kilometers per second, downrange distance 221 kilometers. Vehicles following the nominal. We have stage one, boost back shutdown. Five minutes, 30 seconds, mission elapsed time. Everything remains normal. About four minutes from... Stage propulsion is still nominal. About four minutes from uh, second stage engine cutoff. New Hampshire acquisition of signal. Now processing the signal through a New Hampshire tracking site. Six minutes into the flight. Stage one and stage two power buses are nominal. Solid telemetry lock on both stages. New Hampshire acquisition of signal. Six minutes, 35 seconds after launch, everything remains go. Stage one, entry burn has started. Stage two propulsion, still nominal. Mission elapsed time of seven down. minutes. Stage one, FTS has been saved. T plus seven minutes, 30 seconds, altitude 205 kilometers, speed 4.4 .4 kilometers Stage per second, downrange distance 530 kilometers. Seven minutes, 43 seconds into flight. Team of flight controllers at the SpaceX Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California, following the flight. A little under two minutes away from second stage engine cutoff. Stage two propulsion still nominal. Stage one landing burn has started. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Flight at LOS.
just under a minute away from second stage engine cutoff. Second stage is in terminal guidance. T plus nine minutes, altitude 208 kilometers, speed 6.5 kilometers per second, downrange distance 830 kilometers. About 30 seconds away from second, second stage engine cutoff. Everything performing as planned on the second stage burn from the Falcon 9 delivering Dragon into space. And we have Seco 1. And we have second stage engine cutoff right by the clock. Cape LOS. Acquisition signal in Newfoundland, Canada. Standing by for Dragon separation in 10 seconds. Dragon deploy confirmed. And a great view of the Dragon spacecraft departing the Falcon 9 second stage on its way to the International Space Station with the solar array deploy upcoming in about two minutes. Live view from Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas, where flight controllers in the International Space Station flight control room watching the progress of Dragon flying on its own, beginning its rendezvous profile to the International Space Station with a grapple planned for Friday morning at 7 a.m. We're standing by for solar array deploy and confirmation of such Once the solar arrays have deployed, the Dragon will begin a carefully choreographed series of Draco thruster firings to reach the space station Friday. Back looking at a live shot of Dragon. And the solar arrays are being deployed. After a picture-perfect liftoff from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, the Falcon 9 rocket delivers its precious cargo of Dragon into space and the twin solar arrays unfurling as planned helping to provide power to the Dragon spacecraft to power the Draco thrusters and maneuver the spacecraft to the International New Space Station. New Hampshire lost the signal.
lots of applause and hand waving, a successful delivery of the Dragon spacecraft to space. Congratulations, to the entire SpaceX team. The uh, Falcon 9 rocket performed flawlessly. Dragon is on its way. The Dragon has spread its wings and is soaring toward the International Space Station. Dragon arrives in the vicinity on Friday morning. NASA television coverage will begin at 5 a.m. for an expected grapple at about 7 a.m. Eastern Time. You can follow the SpaceX CRS mission activities at www.nasa.gov slash SpaceX.